Welcome back to the Seven Deadly Sins Anime Review, episode number 14. This time I'm viewing the 58th episode of the anime, which is called what we call, we call that love. Any 332nd chapter of the, of the manga, Respirations. Yeah, this one pretty much adapts to chapters 212 to 214. And from what I can tell from the three chapters they adapted for this episode, they adapted all the way through. All three chapters, though they made some changes here, changes that were fine for the most part. Some stuff they kind of trimmed down for a bit. They kind of cut down some blood, which is perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Yep. The episode starts off with King and Deanne basically talking to, pretty much kind of pick out where last week, where they're talking to Gother, the doll Gother, and then the real Gother shows up via a portal he opens, and... Basically, he kind of explains, like, he's the real, like, of course, King points out that he's the real Gother, and, of course, he kind of explains what's going on, and the fact that I had a chance to meet these two, and he's having, of course, he's going to die soon, and, of course, King goes off to, to save, well, his ancestor's sister, mm -hmm. that he thinks is his trial, and he goes there, and you see sort of the aftermath of the battle. They actually kind of did something quite interesting with this. They actually put the ending of Chapter 212 basically along... They put the ending of that after the the slaughter that Rao and his... Let's just say his but his group. After they finished slaughtering a bunch of fairies and giants and some goddesses. And people from the goddess clan. Mm -hmm. Though he does not want to harm Garksala... The reason why? Because she she looks exactly like his childhood friend, who was killed about looks like about ten years prior to the events of this flashback by fairies and giants for like no reason at all. Well, actually, the reason is is actually pretty simple. They were housing a demon. Yep, that's the reason they caused a freaking massacre, and these four men were the only survivors of this massacre. Yep. And Rao basically did his best he can to protect her. He treated her wounds, though how he treated his wounds is quite interesting. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, and in case... You, now, they kind of slightly turned down the violence a little bit, not by much. Yeah, they, they do show that how guys like how her eyes and kind of like how her legs, basically the reason why they are currently present day. Yeah, apparently one of Rao's associates decided to slice up her eye, all stick up the head of another fairy, and slice up her legs. Yes. Not to the point that you look like they're cutting off, per se, but, yeah, pretty cut badly. And Rao basically had to kill his friend. Of course, he was dying anyways. So he kind of told him about what happened with the massacre, and then eventually... King eventually decides he sees what happened to Gossler because, well, he thinks that Gossler might be dead. So he attempts to use his holy spear on him and he attempts to kill him, but he stops because he realizes, though, he's not actually purely evil. And then we see Gossler, the, the first fairy king, what he actually did in this flashback. We actually did kill Rao. Now, I, I appreciate them actually trimming this down. Like, yeah, quick like this. Yeah, I. This is perfectly understandable, and I'm also kind of glad that not show Gossler missing her freaking legs. Yeah, I'm kind of glad they cut that out because that would be kind of disgusting to see a a fairy missing her legs. I mean, she we already you know she's missing her legs. Of course, we gotta get we can't get explanation for that. And apparently, Rao is basically responsible for, well, not exactly responsible for a condition per se she has currently. But she is, she is responsible basically to make sure she stays alive. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then King wakes up in present day. And basically what happened, uh, most of it basically was true. And the fact that what he decision he made means that he passed the test. And then apparently some side effect, apparently he's some, something wrong with his belly. And of course there's a slight word change here. With this one, where they don't mention what happened previously with the previous demons he previously fought. And there's also a slight word change to do for how 
got got the scribes king to the end. Now in the manga, he calls D, he calls D, he calls basically king Deanne's lover. In the anime, he calls her calls him her boyfriend. It's fine. It's it's actually a pretty good change. I I don't mind this change at all. It's a minor wording change, but it's perfectly fine. And then like the episode ends basically with Gothel being confronted by freaking Zedros. Though this is a past version of him, but he looks exactly the same present day. It, oh look, here goes my executioner, who comes out of the freaking portal. A freaking portal in the light of grace, which the building of this place is pretty much destroyed. And then he's confronted by Gothel, and that's how the episode ends. Wow, what an interesting episode. And I gotta say, adaptation wise, another really good episode. I mean, yeah, some stuff was trimmed down, and of course, some stuff was expanded upon, but it's really good. I got handed to Studio Dean for doing a great job with this episode. Now, let's start, now to do the news chapter of the manga, Respirations. Chapter starts off where the last chapter left off, where basically you have Melios taking out the rest of Demon King's remains. And of course, he's carrying Elizabeth. And you have Mel. Yes, Mel comes in. And he saves Zedros. And of course, Merlin's spell pretty much kind of weakened everybody, but everybody's still perfectly fine. Well, I was only about to get married. Idiot. <laughs> yep, and of course, everybody's doing the aftermath. Yeah. Of course, Manly has basic gas if Zell's right. The, the combined attack you let loose had enough force to level Britannia. So how in the world did you manage to strike only the Demon King? The answer is right here. This ball of water. It's a magic leaf and this mana where we were safe thanks to absorbing excess power. It's quite strong enough to sight to behold. With this bash again, lake continues to exist in this place. He's going to come up with a spot. It's all thanks to her advice. Isn't that right, Merlin? Yep, apparently the whole flag was Merlin's idea. He's like, Captain, what does me how? The commandments aren't disappearing even though we defeat the king. Tch, what now? Yep, the heck can you get? We're dealing with a god here, even though we to destroy. If you want to complete this, straight forward, how can it be? And of course, well, they can go something. Yeah. So, pretty much, Meliolus uses full counter. Well, transforms to his perfect DM mode. All your own. I love the Demon King. And pretty much the command, the rest of the commands will be destroyed. Behold, gone. Hold on, you sure you want to do this with that power? You could take your father's, take father's place, Steve King. Yeah, I could, if I wanted to, other to fear, just like Pops did. <laughs> yep. So that's what it's about. What, you, what do you want, so? Do you want to create a peaceful in the world? You can live it together with Glinda, right? Yeah. That we were, after it was never power. Yep. So, yeah. They destroy their main Ten Commandments. It's over, isn't it? Yeah. Now then, let's celebrate a drink. How about Zell? You want to join us? <laughs> I'm not the one for parties. Really? I won't force you anything to come with. Whew. I might consider it. Of course, you're buying. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And then you have, well, Elizabeth and Glenda looking at the two men that they love. <laughs> and of course, you have Deanne just smiling at it. Near senior command remains path to split. Next to their pride, gluttony, and scars. Ooh. Yep. With this particular chapter, it kind of is the end of this arc. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah. But this overall was a really good chapter. And with the commandments, with Demon King completely gone, and the commandments gone, this kind of means that the whole business with the series is mostly over. Yeah, hopefully Demon King does not make a return again because that'd be kind of stupid because, well, they've already killed him twice. I highly doubt the writer would basically pull a fast one of the fans by the readers saying, oh yeah, Demon King's alive again and he's visiting something else. Well, 
First he possessed Meliolus, then it was Eros, then the freaking ground, but with then completely destroyed along with the commandments. Yeah, there's no chance of coming back at all. Though he could probably use some of the power of Demon King to not rule the, the underworld through fear. Maybe he could do some resurrections. It's possible. One resurrection I think would be necessary is to make Arthur. Yes. Because I think it was kind of a dumb thing to kind of kill them off. Especially since he's a fantastic character. He hasn't really showed up in the current arc in the anime. But I'm sure he's going to show up really soon. Probably with New Holy War arc. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That, and I'm going to give this chapter a 9 out of 10. Really good chapter. Basically, this one, with this one, unlike with the last chapter, basically, it ended the whole thing with Demon King. This is basically put, wrap up the scraps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last chapter for the conclusion. This one is sort of part two of the conclusion. And, of course, next chapter hopefully be Aftermath and getting close to the end of the series. Now, we already did confirm that King and Deanna are going to get married. Great. Maybe you can have all the characters get married in the final chapter. That would be something. Like, everyone except for maybe Gother. He's probably like, no, probably doesn't get married. I mean, the one particular couple I like to see get married is Merlin Escanar. Yeah. Okay. But now I tell to say about the, about the chapter. It was really good. The episode, the anime was really good. That's just, of course, my opinion on it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's it for this particular view. My next view is a movie review, where I'm viewing the second film of the MCU, of MC, the third phase, Doctor Strange. Yep, to the next view. Bye.